you're watching the Sunoco Minor League Cricket Championship, brought to you by our 2023 partners. So, hello there everyone, and welcome to the 2023 Sunoco Minor League Cricket Championship. We are back here at the Mercer County Ground in New Jersey, getting ready for a cracker of a game between the Philadelphians and the Manhattan Yorkers. It's been a bit of a while since we saw the Philadelphians in action, as with the Manhattan Yorkers, both sides wouldn't have made the trip up to the Glenville Cricket Complex last week. Find themselves back here. It'll be familiar sights for both sides. They'll be playing almost all of their games here. We just had a bit of a delay in terms of some overnight rain or perhaps some morning showers that have delayed the start of this one. But we've had the toss and we're all set and ready for the start. The news from the middle is that the Manhattan Yorkers won the toss and they've elected to have a ball first we saw the manhattan new yorkers open their account with a win against the new jersey stallions bowling first weren't able to replicate that that sort of performance against the, the somerset cavaliers the philadelphians have only played the one game so far and i've gotten split points from a rain affected game already so the philadelphians will be looking to continue their winning ways, albeit it's been a bit of time. The Manhattan Yorkers perhaps sticking with a familiar strategy of taking the field first as we look at the playing 11s for both sides. It's Philadelphians change their Vanoi Drysdale comes into the side. Didn't feature in the first game we saw here last week, or rather two weeks ago on, on opening weekend. Comes back into the side. But other than that, you look at Ryan Scott up the top of the order. will be opening the batting most likely. Did very well in the in the previous game. Very dangerous player is Ryan Scott already with some runs. And just the one change, Drysdale in for Liam Plunkett. As for the Manhattan Yorkers, look at that lineup. Chintan Patel moving over from the Empire State Titans. Introduced into the lineup. So the Manhattan Yorkers take the field. Danish Patel on screen. So Rajdeep Darbar and Ryan Scott walk out to the middle for the Philadelphians as expected. Ryan Scott, we saw how free-flowing he is. He always bats like that. That's always the game plan with Ryan Scott when he's out in the middle. 
and Rajdeep Darba. We didn't really see him get off two weeks ago, but was is a very attacking batsman in his own right. But all the emphasis for sure will be on that man Ryan Scott on screen. And the non-strikers then for now. So Manoj Acharya, as expected, will kick things off here for the Yorkers. We'll be bowling to Rajdeep Darbar, former Yorker himself. So here we go, all set and ready to go. And that's a really good opening delivery to start from Manoj Acharya. Gaining one to offer Rajdeep Darbar, a bit of difficulty first up. And we saw Manoj Acharya on the first ball of the tournament's beginning in this division. Getting the wicket of Monang Patel, the one that rolls up. Managed to get a glove on it and through it went. And it started a chain reaction of wickets for the Stallions that really benefited the Manhattan Yorkers. And they'll be looking to break this opening partnership as well. Can be very deadly if these two can find some of that form. This one left alone from Rajdeep Darbar. So good signs here from Manager Charya. He's run in, he's got good pace. A man that would have started his minor league career with the New Jersey Stallions, with the Manhattan Yorkers rather, moved over to the Stallions last year and then finds himself back with the Yorkers. On the stumps, Darbar plays it up. They'll hustle through for one and they'll get through to bring Ryan Scott on strike. First run on the board for the Philadelphians. It'll be interesting here. This will be a good battle between Manager Charia and Ryan Scott. So, even though conditions weren't the best here, Ryan Scott was still able to get on the front foot to bat the way he normally does, stick to his game plan, and he was able to execute it. So Scott faces up to Acharya, taken on the pad straight away, might be going down leg but already Manoj Acharya has won the first battle here with Ryan Scott, big appeals from the Manhattan Yorkers, they'll know they'll try anything to get this wicket here of Ryan Scott, stepped across but the end not out. So a quiet start for the Philadelphians. Down the ground goes Ryan Scott. Doesn't connect. And has done very well here. Has Manoj Acharya. Has only given up the one run. Has kept Ryan Scott quiet so far. Even though he's looked to take him on. The Yorkers will be very pleased with this start. That one. It's a way they'll pick up a single. And it'll be two to end the first over. A single to Ryan Scott to close it out. Good start for the Yorkers. It's two without loss.
What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best. So there, another look at the Philadelphia inside. Mention just the one change. Monoy Drysdale. In for Liam Plunkett. The Manhattan Yorkers line up. Shintan Patel, obviously a major addition. Hiron Shallow also back after missing the previous game. Quiet start for the Philadelphians. Just two on the board. We saw a really good first over from Manu Chacharia, but that man Ryan Scott is still on strike. Is Yash Kangura to pick things up from the other end. Exciting young talent is Yash Kangura. Really good all rounder. We'll see his exploits with the ball. Rolling to Ryan Scott. Former player of the Philadelphians is Yash Kangura. Coming up against some former teammates. Ryan Scott wouldn't have been one of them last year, though, Ryan Scott. A new addition himself to the Philadelphians lineup. In the air from Ryan Scott, looking to go after Kangura straight away. Gets a good enough result for it. Good start to the over for the Philadelphians. As we take another look here. Wasting no time in going after Kangura it was Ryan Scott. Lovely shot. And this is what he does best, Ryan Scott. Never allows the bowlers to settle. Always looking to go after it. Given some width. Doesn't connect. From the middle of the bat there was Ryan Scott. But you can see again the intent was clear. May have got away with that one there, Kangura. Let's take another look at that shot. Look at that power from Ryan Scott. some width again looking to go through the offside is Ryan Scott very difficult at times for a bowler when you're bowling to a player like Ryan Scott even though he doesn't connect with shots like that just the fact that he's willing to take you on like that can be a bit intimidating as you take a look at the Philadelphians camp Always a very busy camp, always a very happy one. Win, lose, or draw, the Philadelphians always bring a good crowd wherever they go. So wide this time from Kangura. So free hit still in place. Would have had a no ball on that third delivery. Pressure here on Kangura. I was just making the point. Even when you have batters attempting these big shots on you, even, even if they don't connect, it can be a lot mentally to take in. Especially with a free hit ball. Ryan Scott doesn't need a license. He already naturally plays that way. Goes big up and over. It's a free hit. And he's got it up and over to the boundary yet again. So Ryan Scott picks up four. Free hit ball. Used to good affection. Look at that. Similar to the first shot that he played that went for six. 
didn't get as much on this one, but got enough for it to go away to the fence. Very similar to the maximum that we saw at the start of the over. And this is turning out to be a much better over for the Philadelphians. Kangura hasn't helped himself with a no ball on the wide, giving up a free hit that would have gone for four. And now another good shot from Ryan Scott. Given some width again. I mentioned he got away with a couple of those deliveries. Did Yash Kangura. And this one almost an uppercut looking sh shot from Ryan Scott. And look at that. Combo there to a, a battle like Ryan Scott. Too much room to free the arms. Such an attacking batter. And it's shots like this that really define Ryan Scott. When he gets in a mood like this, this is just a normal day at the office. We saw what he was capable of in the first game. And taking a liking to the youngster Kangura here. This one another wide, so Kangura struggled here a bit, feeling the pressure, has given up 17 already. Ryan Scott has sized him up. Had a very good over from Manojacharya. It's fair to say Kangura hasn't been able to continue that momentum from the other end. Ryan Scott has kicked things into gear, has done what he does best. Two fours and a six. This one left alone, not collected cleanly from Hiren Patel behind the stumps. No harm done. Final ball here for Kangura. He'll just want to close out this over well. Can he get the wicket of Ryan Scott? Can he at least? Stop the flow of boundaries. Stepping across is Ryan Scott. And look to push him even wider, Kangura, but too wide yet again. So it's been a difficult over here from Yash Kangura. Has bowled three wides, a no ball. Has been hit for two fours, a six. Just got to close out well. This one. Ryan Scott is not happy, but he's gotten away with that one there. So Kangura does close it out. But here you can have another look at the carnage that unfolded prior to that delivery. A six from Ryan Scott. That one a free hit ball. Went up and over for, for another boundary. And then that one. Too much width, not a great delivery. And put away. One bounce, four. So 20 without loss after two, the Philadelphians. Twenty on the board after two overs. A very expensive second over. Acharya will return, looking to make amends for it. And there, Yash Kangura on screen. A, a difficult over that from Kangura would have bowled quite a few extras. Wasn't able to contain Ryan Scott, but 
Nothing to really be ashamed of for the youngster. Not many people are capable of containing Ryan Scott, especially in the power play, and especially with the form that he's in coming off of 50. Manoj Acharya, though, will be a good candidate. Twenty-one from two point one overs. Rajdeep Darbar and Ryan Scott out in the middle. Taken on the pot here is Ryan Scott. Not out again, says the umpire. This was the shout. I think it's a good call. But still, Acharya has gotten a few to strike the part of Ryan Scott. But we'll just be looking to get them a little bit more on target. This one pushed up. Not the greatest bit of fielding there from Prajapati. Preet Shah runs around and makes up for it. So they get through for a single in the end to get Rajdeep back on strike. And here's our man Zubin. Camera's been following him today. Lots of hard work done from him to get all of this action from the Eastern Division possible. So Darbar on strike has been overshadowed by Ryan Scott. Pushing forward. He'll hustle through for another single here. So Rajdeep Darbar's job has been quite simple so far. Just see himself in. Rotate the strike to get Ryan Scott. Here's Chintan Patel. The newest addition to the Manhattan Yorkers lineup. Moving over from the Empire State Titans. Sure, he will fancy getting a ball on this surface given what we've seen in the opening weekend two weeks ago. Good delivery that from Manoj Acharya. Eludes Ryan Scott. How good is Manoj Acharya? We've seen him almost two overs now for only five runs. And this has been quite normal order here for Manoj Acharya throughout the two years. Moving on, this is his third now in, in the minor league. Has really made a name for himself in the last two and a half years or so. That one. Through the offside from Ryan Scott. Doesn't have enough to get to the boundary. Outfield not the quickest. And they get a couple of runs. So attack from Ryan Scott to try and close the over out on a high. It's 25 for none, the Philadelphians. Lakshmi Extra Long Basmati Rice. Iska har dana ho itna lamba, pakte huye mehke, aur plate be kya khoop khile. Haan, mere ghar lane ka. So 25 without loss after three overs, the Philadelphians. Ryan Scott has dominated things so far. But we have seen a good display from Manoj Acharya, really the one blemish. On that Yorker's performance so far has been the over from Kangura. Which is quite a big blemish. 18 runs came off from that over. Sort of undone the two overs of hard work that Acharya was able to accomplish. So Desai comes into the attack, replacing Yash Kangura. That one climbing on Rajdeep Darbar. Ryan Scott wanted the single, and in the end, it almost it led to a miscommunication that almost led to a run out. Ryan Scott, lucky to survive on that occasion. Darbar wasn't interested. The 
that one, keeping a tad low from Desai. He is another baller that has really made an impact so far. First year in the minor league. Pulled away from Rajdeep Daba. Fielder running around does very well to stop the boundary. Kangura out on the fence. Just a single in the end from Rajdeep Darbar. Bit of a drag down though from Nisaj Desai. This will be another interesting contest. The spin on to Ryan Scott. We saw him really take the spinners on in that 50, but you know they always say it is one of the best things to do to a batter like Ryan Scott. Perhaps slow things down, get the spinner on. We'll see how that fares here. Besides Desai, made the point. A very impressive player so far in the short career he's had at this level, the left armor. He's bowled very well, has gotten wickets, has kept a decent economy rate. Whole different task altogether to bowl to Ryan Scott though. And he's got him. So, Misage Desai, right as I was making the point how impressive he's been, he's the man with the golden arm that has knocked over Ryan Scott. And celebrations for the Manhattan Yorkers. Looking to go big. And he's not happy with that Ryan Scott. He knows he should have connected with that one. Probably should have sent it out the ground. But Misage Desai, Getting the better of him on that occasion, Ryan Scott was entertaining for a while, for a little while. Goes for 18 with a big wicket. That for the Yorkers, it's 26 for one. Scott and it means the introduction of Chiran Shubatia. Shubatia, another player that has just progressively gotten better in the last two or three years. Started off as somewhat of a bowling all-rounder who was handy with his batting towards the back end of an innings. Slowly evolved to much more of a genuine all-rounder, was used equally for his bowling and for his batting and has now, in the last year or so, become more of a batting all-rounder, getting the promotion to number three. Carrying a lot of responsibility for the Philadelphians in the last year or so. Perhaps towards the second half of the season last year and now to the start of this year. So very good work here from Chirubati. His batting has just gotten better and better. But Nisaj Desai and the Yorkers flying high with the dismissal. Defensive straight away is, is Chirubatia. In the air from Chirubatia. It's strike the stumps of the non striker. Decide. Didn't get a hand on it in the end, or else that could have been trouble for Rajdeep Darbar. But was offering a chance there. You could say it was Shiru and was offering a run out chance as well. 27 for 1 after 4. Took that last corner pretty quick. Sir, I need one hand on the roof, one hand on the pump. Time out for Sunoco Go Rewards. Keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save. Because rewards come first.
27 for one. We saw the wicket of Ryan Scott. And this was the last ball in the air. Chance of a catch just out of the reach of Desai, but also out of the reach for him to even get the slightest of touches would have been a run out. At the non-strikers end, Darbar had no chance of getting back there, but couldn't get the catch and couldn't get a touch was Nisaj Desai. So Darbar survives at the, at the other end. Always a difficult way to be dismissed in that fashion. Preet Shah comes into the attack. That one really did a lot there. You can see he was maybe looking to go a little bit more expansive and then the ball just never arrived. Had to make the adjustment there, did Bhatia. In the air. Similar ball, deceiving Chiran Shubatia. Just out of reach and they get a single. So it'll be all about how the Philadelphians rebuild from here. In their first game would have only required about 100 and 101 runs against the Stallions. Ryan Scott alone would have gotten them halfway through. Made the job of everyone else a little bit easier. Now they're batting first and Ryan Scott is gone. Still in the power plate with only 28 on the board. So now a step up needed here from the rest of the Philadelphia batting lineup. In the air from Rajdeep Darbar goes up and over and what a shot. Lovely shot from Rajdeep Darbar. No Scott, no problem, says Rajdeep. All the way for a maximum. And I mentioned at the start of the game, he is a very aggressive batter in his own right as Rajdeep Darbar shows it on that occasion. That is not an easy shot to get for six. But he's managed to do so, Rajdeep Darbar. This one cut away. Straight to Nisaj Desai. So a good comeback from Preet Shah. Cut away again, but can't find the gap. A lot here probably ride on Rajdeep Darbar. Can he get some momentum going? We saw that six. Can he fill the role of Ryan Scott? Really be the aggressor? We know Chirubatia can hit them as well, but a little bit more of a stroke player. Darbar, more naturally aggressive. They get through for a quick single. And in fact, they'll get through for more than that with an overthrow. So two runs to close out the fifth over. It's 36 for one, the Philadelphians. Thirty-six on the board for the Philadelphians. Chintan Patel into the attack for the Manhattan Yorkers. So it was only going to be a matter of time until we saw that spin arsenal that the that the Yorkers possess, the likes of Desai, Preet Shah, Chintan Patel, Dhruv Power as well.
Played up from Chirubatia. Good start from Chintan. Very experienced player as Chintan Patel has been around cricket here for a long time. Knows these conditions well, appealing. And yes, says the umpire. So another wicket here for the Manhattan Yorkers. Bit of an interesting dismissal that. Kept a bit low. And Chirubatia again a bit deceived by it. And Shintan Patel gets the wicket. Another one for the Yorkers. Chiranshu goes. It's 36 for 2. Let's another look at the wicket. <sighs> the very, very strange dismissal that from Chirubatia. Not the typical method of getting caught at the wicket. Kept low. An awkward flail at it from Chiru. And here and Patel did well to really get hold of that one. Not easy for a wicket keeper that close up to. Reach down that low. Brings Garanshu Sharma out to the middle. Another former Yorker would have started his career there. Would have played last year for the Empire State Titans. And now moves up to Philly. Another good delivery from Chintan Patel. They get through for a single. in the end so Darbar back on strike he's been out there from ball one another quick single taken from Daba and Garanshu. Two very good runners out in the middle. You look at Garanshu Sharma, you look at Rajdeep Daba. Yes, they may be quite a glaring height difference, but both good at using their feet. Deep Joshi coming in. Attacking field set. This one pulled away from Garanshu Sharma. Didn't get much for it. Just one. Off the mark is Garanshu Sharma. Final ball of the over here from Chintan Patel. Has only gone for two. Got the wicket of Chirubatia. Looking to take him on is Dabar. Doesn't get hold of it. Straight back to him in the end. Six overs done. Power play done and dusted. Philadelphians 39 for two. Card for the Philadelphians 39 for two after the power play. We saw not a bad start from Ryan Scott. Him aside, 
It's been a bit of a struggle for the Philadelphians. Right, Steve Darbar has held in there. They need to play a big innings, you feel. They bat deep here to the Philadelphians, the, the likes of Devish Roy Prashad, Captain Jonathan Fu, Raj Nanan. Perhaps the, the change that Drysdale in for Liam Plunkett strengthens their bowling, but a like for like switch in terms of their bowling, but probably weakens their batting a bit. When you look at Plunkett versus Drysdale, Desai back into the attack, and was that a chance? Higher and shallow. It was up in the air. We'll have to look at the replay to see if it carried. It was a tough one either way. Dabar goes the aerial route. And he's got enough on it. Going after Nisaj Desai. I was just making the point that Rajdeep Dabar, you feel, has to be a key man for the rest of this innings. And he said, hey... Got to try to keep our foot on the gas, even though we've had a couple of setbacks. Got to find those boundaries. And Rajdeep Darbar, so good on the offside. Second six in that region we've seen from him already. Desai got the wicket. Gone for nine. This one pulled away from Rajdeep Darbar. Good bit of fielding there. Aslan Khan running around very quickly. Saved a couple of runs. Aslan Khan, another new addition. To sweep is Rajdeep Darbar. This was the chance put down from Haran Shallow. Tough chance diving away. Good over for, for the Philadelphians. And they're able to get nine from it. But a good end from Desai. 48 for two after seven. Back with the action at Mercer County. Chintan Patel will continue to Garan Sharma. The back foot punched up. Another single. Rajdeep Darbar. We saw him hit a six in the previous over. He's moved up to 21. To delivery looking to pull it away wasn't able to get hold of it straight to Danish Patel got away with with one there to Chintan Patel this time nailed the pull a little bit better protection out there just the one 
You can see Rajdeep Darbar really starting to find himself. This was the chance. Higher and shallow, very difficult one. Good bit of rotation here between these two we've seen in the last over or two. That's what they'll need at this stage of the game. The middle overs we see so often can really make or break an innings. Always important to keep things moving along. And clean him up. So totally against the run of play. Rajdeep Darbar looking for a slog sweep. And in the end, he's connected with nothing but thin air. And Chintan Patel, almost always on the money, gets the wicket. Got a question, maybe the shot from Daba. He's tried it a couple of times and he hasn't worked. All Chintan needed to do was aim it at the stump. And there we go, off stump, knock back. Slug sweep gone wrong from Daba. And he walks back a big wicket for the Manhattan Yorkers, Daba. Goes for 22, the Philadelphians 51 for 3. Raj Nanan walks out to the middle. Chintan Patel, two for five from 1.5 overs. Such a crafty bowler. And a good finish to the over. So Dot Ball to Nanan. It's 51 for three after eight. लक्ष्मी बासमती राइस को घर लाने का लक्ष्मी एक्स्ट्रा लॉन्ग बासमती राइस इसका हर दाना हो इतना लंबा पकते हुए महके और प्लेट में क्या खूब खिले हाँ मेरे घर लाने का The Yorkers continue to chip away here at the Philadelphians. They probably feel they've done better and better with the ball as the game has gone on. Preach shot. Continues. Garanshu Sharma on strike. Reverse sweep from Sharma. The reward just one. Gets Raj Nanan on strike. Yet to get off the mark. Rising up, D 
deep Joshi in play. Much better start to the over here from Preet Shah. The first over he bowled would have gone for nine. His comeback, much better. Peeling there again. Yeah, the Manhattan Yorkers for a catch. Off the shoulder, says Raj Nanan. Looking to play that ramp shot. Another good delivery. <laughs> this was another look at the previous ball. Looking for the sweep and yep, off the shoulder. Right away making the indication. Straight to the man again, deep Joshi. Another look, closer look. And yeah, deviation. In the pathway of the ball right as it passes the shoulder. Nine overs done, 52 for three. What's up, Doug? What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best. So Desai continues, starts off with a dot to Garanchu, taken on the pad, a big appeal from the Yorkers, not out says umpire Fanula Saeed. Single to Garanshu Sharma. Another look at the shout. They've gotten some bat on that. Looking at it. So Nanan on strike, left hander. Really good delivery from Nisaj Desire once again asking the question. He has bowled exceptionally well, not only in this game, but throughout the tournament has Nisaj Desai. Some flight on that one. Just one. Another quiet over goes by from the Manhattan Yorkers. A good one from Desai yet again. Just three off it. It's 14 for one after three from him and 55 for three at the halfway stage.
So 55 at the halfway stage on the board for the Philadelphians. They've lost three wickets. Maybe running out a bit of batting options. I mentioned the swap with Liam Plunkett and Drysdale perhaps weakens their batting lineup just a little bit. Still the likes of Jonathan Fu, the captain. Bit surprised maybe Rajan Danan. We saw walk out to the middle ahead of Jonathan Fu. Devish Roy Prashad as well. So Preet Shah continues two overs none for ten from him. Single to Garanshu Sharma. Gets Raj Nanan back on strike. I think it's important that just keep to looking to score. We saw that little partnership between Garanshu Sharma and Rajdeep Darbar. They were going at a bout run a ball in the sense, always looking to score, even if it's just one and two. Oh. Hiding that one down. Always a risky option with that slip in place. And just out of reach of Deep Joshi. So Nanan gets a single. Gets Goran Shusharma back on strike. Both new additions to this lineup for the Philadelphians this year. Up in the air from Garanshu Sharma. Has he got enough? No, he hasn't. He's picked out Danish Patel in the deep. Something had to give for the Philadelphians. Garanshu Sharma looking to be the man to provide that spark. But in the end, he's paid the price. Danish Patel out on the fence. Takes the catch. Didn't get all of it. Did Garanshu Sharma. A simple catch. A player like Danish Patel won't drop those. So Preet Shah gets in the act now in terms of wickets. Garanshu falls for eight. And the Philadelphians are 57 for four. So Jonathan Fu, the captain of the Philadelphians, walks to the middle with his side in some bit of trouble. 57 for 4, only in the 11th over. It's been an innings that started off not too badly and then has slowly and slowly gotten worse and worse. Wickets falling at regular intervals, the run rate slowing down after every few overs or so. Right away, wasting no time, Jonathan Fu off the mark. Spun a web here as they with the Manhattan Yorkers, Preet Shah, Chintan Patel, and Nisaj Desai. Another good ball played up for another single from the man. Four of the over and the wicket of Garanshu Sharma, who was looking to make something happen. So 
Just dabs that one down for another single. There's Jonathan Fu. So a wicket and five from the over. Good one from Preet Shah. 60 for four after 11. So you look at those last three names on that card, Nisaj Desai, Preet Shah, and Chintan Patel. Eight overs between the three of them. They've taken four wickets and have only given up 34 runs. Brilliant bit of bowling display from them. They've dominated proceedings here, really since towards the end of the power play. Eight overs, four for 34 between the three of them. Just got to take those figures in and say to yourself, undeniable success for the spinners as Desai will finish up. One for 14 from 3.1 overs. Spinner's paradise. Yeah, Mercer County. Able to generate lots of turn. Bit of unpredictability as well. Foo, a very risky shot there. And Nisaj decided his hands on his head and rightly so, narrowly missing the stumps there. Another dot ball to Jonathan Fu. Nanan comes on to strike for the final ball. So, good delivery to end from Desai. 12 done, 61 for 4. What is the Lakshmi Basmati Rice? Ko ghar ka. Lakshmi Extra Long Basmati Rice. Is the Har Dana ho itna lamba? Pakte hue meke. Or plate bake ya khoop kile. Ha, mere ghar lane ka. Jonathan Fu and Raj Nanan out in the middle. 61 on the board. 12 overs completed. 48 deliveries remaining. Goes big. But can only find the field at Aslan Khan. So Nanan on strike. That one turning a bit too much there, called a wide. Yeah, 
extras tallying six. Not bad from the Yorkers. Single. With all these spinners being used here by the Manhattan Yorkers, it gets the overs by a lot quicker. Just 45 deliveries remaining. That can perhaps play on the mind of the batters as well. Thinking that they've got time to get themselves in, and the more the spinners keep bowling, the quicker those overs pass by. Halfway through the 13th. Ground from Jonathan Fu. Kangura is posted there. Two balls remaining in the over. Pushed up. Nothing there from Raj Nanan. Final ball of the over here from Preet Shah. Has bowled a very good spell. Up in the air from Raj Nanan. Lands in front of Danish Patel. Single to end the over. It's a, another good one from Preet Shah. He's done for the day. 66 for 4 after 13. Took that last corner pretty quick. Sir, I need one hand on the roof, one hand on the pump. Time out for Sunoco Go Rewards. Keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save. Because rewards come first. Six for four after 13 overs. Expanding their spin options here are the Manhattan Yorkers. As Danish Patel is introduced into the attack. Starts off with a low full toss down the ground from Raj Nanan. Will just be a single. Gets Jonathan Fu on strike. Jonathan Fu just about two weeks ago would have been playing local cricket in the Greater Philadelphia Cricket League. Would have smashed 286 not out in a 40 over game. Pivotal Tex Rockers. 286 not out of about 120 balls or so around there in a 40 over. So he comes into this one in, in some really good form as Jonathan Fu, but a bit of a struggle at the moment with him and Raj Nanan. Down the ground. Once again, field out there. Just single from Raj Nanan, but has started to open up a little bit. Has played a couple of shots. We saw single he got right at the end of the last over, looking to make something happen. As we see those in attendance. single it's been an over of all singles so far well, 
rotation has done quite well. In the air from Nanan. Enough on it. Nanan safely doesn't get enough to go to the boundary, but also not enough to find the fielder. Which he'll also enjoy there. Raj Nanan. So they've managed to really milk Danish Patel in this over. Five balls, five singles. Cut away finds Vandit Prajapati. No chance of a run there. 14 overs done. Five from the over. It's 71 for four. Lakshmi Basmati Rice ko ghar lane ka. Lakshmi Extra Long Basmati Rice. Iska har dana ho itna lamba. Pakte huye mehke. Aur plate pe kya khub khile. Haan, mere ghar lane ka. Six overs remaining. 71 for four after 14 overs. See the support in the ground, sporting the yellow. If he is a Philadelphians fan, those three for sure are Philadelphians fans. They'll be definitely looking to get a kick in here for the final few overs. Kangura back. And Raj Nanan looking to provide that kick, but hasn't got enough. In similar fashion to Garanshu Sharma, picks out Danish Patel, who's had a really good day on the boundary. Has had a couple of catches come to him and hasn't disappointed the Yorkers. Kangura right back into the attack after a difficult over up front. Gets the wicket. Nanan looking to go big, looking to manufacture runs from somewhere into the hands of Danish Patel. Another simple catch. And Raj Nanan goes for eight. And Philadelphians lose their fifth. It's 71 for five. Philadelphians dug out. Always a, a very crowded one, both with players, staff, supporters. Probably one of the best in terms of the Eastern Division, in terms of support and following. Have really made this franchise a brand. Anirud Emanuel, the under 21, walks to the middle. Right away off the mark. Full back on strike. The captain of the Philadelphians. With 34 deliveries remaining, the attention will definitely shift to him. To give them a good close. I mentioned the runs he would have made in his domestic league. Can really strike the ball a long way. We'll need to prop pop stay there till the end. Right now, more than content, just rotating the strike. And turns the focus back to the young Anirud Emmanuel.
Oh, cutting him in half. There was Kangura. This has been a much better over in contrast to what we would have seen earlier on from Kangura. And look at that. Wow. What a delivery from Yash Kangura getting some bit of movement in. Shorter delivery, looking to pull, take it on the body is Emmanuel. Last ball from Kangura coming up. Another look at this awkward pull attempt. This one played up straight to the fielder. No chance of a single. Really good over from Yash Kangura. Broke the partnership and only gave up two. 73 for 5 after 15. Not much to really look at on the scorecard for the Philadelphians other than the first two, Ryan Scott and Rajdeep Darbar. Didn't get off too bad, but really once the wicket of Ryan Scott fell, things have slowed down ever since. Chintan Patel into his third over. Five overs left. Chintan has got two. Acharya has got two. And most likely Kangura after that last over we saw. Probably get another ball at some point. In the air, up and over from Jonathan Fu. Fielder there, Aslan Khan. Canadian. New addition to the Manhattan Yorkers. And we've seen a lot of Canadians really make the trip down to play in this year's edition of the Sunoco Minor League Cricket Championship. Always good to have some of our northern neighbors join us, especially with a planned expansion up north into Canada for next year and for going forward. Good for North American cricket all around. Played on. So just like that, a soft dismissal. Anirudh Emmanuel looking to guide that one down and a nothing shot in the end. And in the end, getting the inside edge onto the stumps. And easy as you like for the Manhattan Yorkers and for Chintan Patel, who has got his third and has only conceded six runs. Anirudh goes quite easily in the end. He falls for one and it's 74 for six for the Philadelphians. Another look here, looking to get on the back foot and I mean, it's not really a shot he'd want to look back on. Anirudh Emmanuel. Not good to see when you're dismissed in a, in a manner like that, but a good delivery from Chintan Patel. And he's loving it. Three for six from two and a half overs for him. Vishwari Prashad walks in the middle in at number 8. Much better batsman than number 8 would probably suggest is Devishwari Prashad. Particularly for a stage like this with 27 balls remaining. And Dev, a very capable batter. A very good all-rounder is Devishwari Prashad. at the other end 
74 for 6, Prashad. Can't get off the mark. Dinesh Patel has been very busy in the field today, it's fair to say. Pushed up, uppishly from Prashad. Gets off the mark. Brings Jonathan Fu back on strike. Last ball of the third here from Chintan Patel. 25 deliveries remaining. Just sees him out as expected there, Jonathan Fu. Two off the over and the wicket of Anirud Emmanuel. 75 for six, Philly. Chintan Patel's three wickets. That one, a bit of a bizarre one from Chirubati, and not the typical way of being dismissed. This one, Rajdeep Dabar, one that a lot of people might probably question. And then that one from Anirudh Emmanuel, another shot that some may question. Chintan Patel seems to get better and better. So Danish Patel back into the attack. Bit of an interesting ploy here. Going back with Danish Patel. We would have seen him bowl an over that went for five. Batter seemed more than happy just getting the singles off him. Especially when you've got one more from Chintan still, two from Acharya, and we saw Yash Kangura bowl a very good over. delivery. Jonathan Fu not happy saying that was too wide for him. Umpire disagreeing. So get away with one there and there's Chintan Patel. Has been around for such a long time and still has proven he can bowl at a high level. This one worked away. For a single. Back to you Devishwari Prashad. 21 deliveries remaining. Innings winding down for the Philadelphians. We've had that delayed start as well. Another single to Devishwari Prashad. Full back on strike on 10. Goes big. Jonathan Fu. And long enough by a long way. Goes for six. And a much needed six that one that will really lift the spirits of the Philadelphians. Huge hit from Jonathan Fu. Look at that. A shot he plays very well. Does Fu. Again, going back here to really the, the decision to bowl Danish Patel. It was an interesting one, to say the least. Good over for the Philadelphians in the end. A 10 run over. Exactly what they need at this stage. It's 85 for 6 after 17. What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best. Much needed big over that. Thanks to the six from Jonathan Fu. 
and I was just getting to Danish Patel ball the first over would have gone for five and even the way that last over his second over started off seemed as if the Philly batters were quite comfortable against him particularly Jonathan Fu didn't really feel bothered by him so it was it was a bit interesting to see him come back for a second over when you've got Chintan has got one left Achari has got two he'll be bowling one of them now and Kangura would have gotten a wicket and only given up two runs in the last over he bowled so you've got bowlers decided to go back with Danish Patel and Jonathan Fu was able to score off him yet again so Acharya back into the attack two overs for seven bowling to Deveshwari Prashad worked away for another might be a leg by here will await any signal indeed it is a leg by Able to get some movement in again from Acharya, utilizing perhaps those cut cut as well, but not collect cleanly, not collected cleanly by Hiran Patel. Allows them to run through for a bye. Ilhari. Appealing for the run out, but he's made it back there, Jonathan Fu. Determined to really get back on strike. Knowing he's the one that'll probably have to carry the fight. Played up from Prashad. And yep, well in is Jonathan Fu. Slight appeals, another leg by, so extras now move up to nine for the Yorkers. Three of them in this over, but perhaps don't really mind leg buys and buys being totaled onto the scorecard. Doesn't really harm you that much. That one played straight back to Acharya. So five off the over, a good a good one from a Yorker's perspective. It's ninety for six. Two overs left. Lakshmi Lakshmi Basmati rice ko ghar lade ka. Lakshmi extra long Basmati rice. Iska har dana ho itna lamba, pakte huye mehke, aur plate pe kya khub khile. Ha, mere ghar lade ka. Ninety for six. Look at what has happened so far. Wasn't a bad start for the Philadelphians. Ryan Scott played some shots, as did Rajdeep Darbar. Nothing really has been able to material materialize since then. Jonathan Fu is on eighteen. Chinton back in back into the attack. Hammered away from Jonathan Fu, but man posted out there is Kangura. Prashad back on strike is on four. Awkward delivery that to Devishwari Prashad. Not really much you can do with a ball like that. You've just got to try and get it down. 
just so it doesn't pop up and into the keeper's hands. Shintan has been magnificent today. 3 for 8 from 3.2 overs. Prashad is on 4. Jonathan Fu on 19 at the other end. You'd probably want to get Jonathan Fu back on strike. Even though Devishwari Prashad can strike them. Does get Fu back on strike. Nine balls to go. Chintan Patel has only given up nine from three and a half. Fu swung away into the leg side. And right into the Philadelphians dugout. Another good shot off the bat of Jonathan Fu. And another much needed boundary. Really starting to find some bit of momentum. Sending that one right into his own camp saying that one's for you guys. Huge six indeed. In the air. He's got an outside edge. This one running away. Won't get away to the fence. Hiron Shallow running back. Another look at the shot. Jonathan Fu. Lovely shot. Pulled away for six. Similar to the first one that he struck, although not a straight. Final ball. Cut away. They'll hustle a single. And they get through quite easily in the end. So Fu will retain strike. The 100 came up as well with that couple of runs. It's 101 for six after 19. Chintan Patel ending with figures of 3 for 18 from his 4 overs. Although that last over was by far his most expensive 11. Came off it. So Manoj Acharya will come back into the attack. Final over for both him and for the innings. Jonathan Fu on strike has really given the Philadelphians a much needed push. Really good delivery. That is a perfect way to start off a final over. Mano Jacharya. We've, we've seen a couple of those deliveries now. Utilizing those cuts as well. Really moving back in. Hiran Patel behind the stumps. Does well. Was a good take. Swung away from Jonathan Fu. Fielder there is decide and push for two and they get it. Well, in fact, no, they haven't. So Nisaj Desai with the throw. You can see was out of frame there, so really hard to tell. In the end, Devishwari Prashad unable to make it back home, so a wicket falls. They do get Fu back on strike, but Devishwari Prashad falls in the end. Bit of a nonchalant dismissal. He goes for five. Seven down for the Philadelphians. Aditya Sharma Numan in. Swung away from Jonathan Fu. Runs here yet again. One hand off the blade. And another boundary. So Jonathan Fu... Mounting a fight back here for the Philadelphians. Some bit of resistance. The one-handed shot. With 
three deliveries remaining. This is exactly the type of finish the Philadelphians would like to see from their skipper. A single-handedly pulled his side out of some deep trouble. Pitch stop. This one in the air. Has he got enough? Yes, he has. So another clean strike from Jonathan Fu. Close to the cars. And this is turning out to be a really good over for the Philadelphians. Jonathan Fu. They'll take the run out of Prashad as anything to get Jonathan Fu back on strike. And this is why a four and now a six in the slot. Clean as a whistle down the ground. That one will have to be rebold. So pressure affecting the line here of Manoj Acharya. Lovely shot that as soon as it left the bat. All the way for six. Short ball hammered away. Oh, fielder came in. Kangura. Went for the catch, and they get a couple of runs in the end. So a chance put down nonetheless. Here off of Jonathan Fu, banged in short, and Kangura decided to go in for the catch, rightly so, but just couldn't hold on. And in the end, a couple of runs to Jonathan Fu. Final ball of the innings coming up. Strikes him on the body. They'll have to run for everything here. Deep Joshi doesn't collect cleanly. But in the end, they will settle for what could be just a leg by in the end. In fact, no signal. So it would have come off the bat of Jonathan Fu. So a single to end the innings off. Jonathan Fu, what an innings from him. He will walk off and get the round of applause from his side. 42 not out from him. A big bulk of the runs there, not out. We saw a start from Daba, a start from Ryan Scott. And some extras hitting the double figures as well. But Jonathan Fu, a very happy camper. And has accomplished quite a lot. 42 crucial runs there. Particularly the runs in the last two or three overs, much needed for the Philadelphians. And they've gotten to 116 for seven from their 20 overs. A look at the bowlers. The spinners really dominated proceedings. Chintan Patel, the pick of them all. Three for 18 from his four. Although his final over would have gone for 11. Preet Shah was quite economical as well. Four for 20. And Nisaj Desai, four for 15. The most economical of them all. Acharya did quite well. But the Manhattan... Yorkers will require 117 for victory here over the Philadelphians. The Yorkers, of course, would have won the toss. Decided to put the Philadelphians in. And this is exactly how things went down. Manoj Acharya kicked things off quite well for the Manhattan Yorkers. But that man, Ryan Scott, had a lot to say in the second over. A lovely shot straight down the ground off of Yash Kangura. This was really a big over. This second one. Continuing with the highlights. Similar shot. Similar shot to the first one. Ryan Scott this time only able to get it for four. That was a free hit delivery. The runs didn't stop there. It was a tough over for the young Kangura. Too much width, not a great delivery. And slashed away for four more. And then this, a big moment in the game. Nisaj Desai with a huge wicket. It was the only wicket he picked up for the day in Nisaj Desai, but probably one of the most important ones. Ryan Scott, just when he was getting going, cleaned up. Rajdeep Darbar played some good looking shots, particularly through the offside. Not an easy shot to nail, especially all the way for six up and over. 
And this was the very strange dismissal of Chirubatia. Going at a wide delivery. Getting an inside edge perhaps through to Hiran Patel. Rajdeep continued to play some shots. That one a, a six off of Nisaj Desai. Didn't laugh afterward though. And this is why. A slug sweep. A shot that he's tried a couple of times that he hasn't really nailed. And in the end, Shintam Patel dead on target. Pegs back the off stump. After a quiet period of play, Garanshu Sharma had to make something happen. Fell to a good catch from Danish Patel. Settled under it a long time. And Preet Shah got the wicket. And in similar fashion, a few overs later, it was Raj Nanan. Similar circumstances, had to get going, but not enough. Danish Patel, another catch for him. Kangura into the wickets. This was the soft dismissal, really, of Anirud Emmanuel. He fell playing on from Chintan Patel. And then from then on, it was Jonathan Fu showing off his capabilities with the bat. A big six on that occasion off of Danish Patel. And then this was the run out of Devishwari Prashad. A bit tough to initially tell if he was gone or not. But there the celebration from Anuj Acharya. Fu carried on. This one the one handed strike. Away to the fence for four. And then this one probably the best of them all. In the slot. Clean hit down the ground. Sweet as you like from Jonathan Fu. And that was really the innings that he played. This one down the ground. Manage, in fact, Kangura diving forward. Couldn't hold on. Acharya felt he should have had the wicket of Fu there. But in the end, survived. And it helped get the Philadelphians to 116. So we will take a short break here at Mercer County Park with the news that the Manhattan Yorkers Winning the toss, electing to bowl, and we'll need and see for victory. You're watching the Sunoco Minor League Cricket Championship, brought to you by our 2023 partners.
So back here with the action. The Manhattan Yorkers responding to 117. Vandit Prajapati and Danish Patel walk out to the middle. Wanoi Drysdale, as expected, will start things off for the Philadelphians. He's got such a good amount of pace. Wanoi Drysdale, tall man as well. Will always intimidate any batter. Rajapati and Danish Patel, two batters that aren't afraid of the challenge. One eye Drysdale into the side, replacing Liam Plunkett for this contest. Good delivery there again from Drysdale. Man out of the Westbury Cricket Club in the New York Metropolitan League. Has established a reputation being one of the quickest around this area. Appeals here for the Philadelphians. Darbar is convinced. Drysdale is convinced. In the end, not out, says the umpire. Stray out. Looks like it may have come off the pad. Thigh pad. You can see Prajapati giving the indication. A fine start from one eye Drysdale. The wind has started to pick up. You can see the bushes and the trees in the background. Got a good delivery from Drysdale. Started off very well here to Vandit Prajapati. Rajapati would have made a big name for himself, a big splash into the minor league scene with the Somerset Cavaliers last year towards the back end of the tournament. Made the move to the Yorkers. And there you can see the wind blowing hard behind Aditya Sharma. That one played up straight to Devish Roy Prashad. So another dot ball here to Vandit Prajapati, Drysdale. Such a good bowler right at the start of an innings. A good indication of the pace just by looking at how far Rajdeep Darbar is standing back. Another good delivery. So a maiden first over to start things off. Exactly what the Philadelphians would have liked from Drysdale. It's none for none. Took that last corner pretty quick. Sir, I need one hand on the roof, one hand on the pump. Time out for Sunoco Go Rewards. Keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save. Because rewards come first. Fine start for the Philadelphians. Looking to the 
the Fen 116. One eye Drysdale has gotten them off to a good start. And we see some spin from the other end. Raj Nanan into the attack. to Danish Patel starts off very well one that goes through to Rajdeep Darbar So eight balls in, and now we've seen the first run here from the Manhattan Yorkers. Danish Patel off the mark. Gets Van der Prajapati back on strike. Another good ball from... Nanan getting Prajapati to defend has been restricted here has Vandit Prajapati seven deliveries yet to get off the mark Looking to do so on that occasion but Devish Roy Prashad doesn't allow that another good over here from the Philadelphians Raj Nanan always important especially Defending a total like this, you'd want to get a good power play in, not allow the batters to really settle, to really get one foot ahead. So side like the Manhattan Yorkers, you don't want to leave too much towards the end of an inning, so it's good to get off to somewhat of a decent start. We saw the Philadelphians do that. Brian Scott was able to get some big hits in the power play. Manhattan Yorkers so far haven't been able to find that type of rhythm just as yet. Another good delivery. Prajapati can't do anything with it. Good over from Nanan, just the one off it. It's one without loss. One on the board so far for the Manhattan Yorkers. It's been a good start with the ball in hand for the Philadelphians. Drysdale will continue. Really good ball, that. Look at the carry through to Rajdeep Darbar. Shows the amount of pace and bounce that Drysdale can get, even on conditions that perhaps don't favor paces all that much. When I Drysdale can bowl fast wherever he goes. Single to Danish Patel. 
Bandit Prajapati yet to get off the mark, has faced 10 deliveries, has been really bogged down here by some good bowling between Drysdale and Raj Nanan. Big shot from Vandit Prajapati. It was only a matter of time before it was coming, wasn't it? Down the track and hammering Drysdale for the first boundary of the Yorkers innings. And one that will do Vandit Prajapati a world of good. Few steps down and just hammering it over the infield, over the head. Vandit Prajapati, that's what he can do. Packs a punch for such a small man. This Vandit. And again. This one perhaps even cleaner. Down the tracker yet again. Drysdale perhaps looking to cramp him for room. Able to make that adjustment and get the pull away. That's a really good shot from Vandit Prajapati. Look at that. Lovely swivel. And just using the pace that Drysdale runs in with to his advantage. The saying goes, the faster they come, the farther they fly. Ronald Drysdale, unfortunately, at times can fit that expression. Prajapati has counterpunched here with a couple of boundaries for the Yorkers. That one nicely driven up here. Runs on the offer from Prajapati. Nope, just one. Krashad does very well. Action back on Danish Patel. Final delivery coming up here from Drysdale. Has gone for 10 in this over compared to the maiden that he started the innings off with. Good delivery from Drysdale. Can't score as Danish Patel. A big over from the Manhattan Yorkers. One that they needed. It's three done, 11 for none. and for the Philadelphians, the Yorkers in red, they've just begun. Still got a long way to go. Nanan continues and a play and a misses Prajapati. score again is Vandit Prajapati lovely shot up and over Garanshu Sharma running around and in the end it's I think Anirudh Emanuel running back who gets onto it first so a couple of runs to fund it. Moves up to 11. As you can see the wind intensifying. You just saw the Sunoco board there being blown away. We saw similarly to the Glenville Cricket Complex, the wind here can get very intense very suddenly. 
That is a peach of a ball. Darpa is asking the question. Not so much was Raj Nanan. But a good delivery yet again to Vandit Prajapati, who has had a but has had a bit of a mixed bag of an innings. A couple of good strikes off of Onoid Drysdale, but other than that, has been kept quiet. Again, through to Rajdeep Darbar behind the stumps. Dot to close out the fourth over. Tough going here for the Yorkers, 13 for none. Lakshmi Basmati Rice ko ghar la de ka. Lakshmi Extra Long Basmati Rice. Iska har dana ho itna lamba, pakte huye mehke, aur plate pe kya khub khile. Ha, tere ghar la de ka. County is the venue in New Jersey. Philadelphians take on the Manhattan Yorkers. In response to 117, the Manhattan Yorkers are 13 for none after four overs. It's been a quiet start, mostly to Vande Prajapati. He's faced 19 of the 24 balls we've seen so far. Devishwari Prashad introduced into the attack here from skipper Jonathan Fu. comes in, doesn't connect, and they hustle through for a single Danish Patel. Vandit Prajapati back on strike, as he's been for most of the inning so far. Has only got 11 runs to show for it, though. Guided down, good bit of fielding, excellent fielder. Is Raj Nanan. Always putting a hundred percent in the field. That's all he knows how to do is Raj Nanan. As does this man, Devishwari Prashad. Always gives a hundred percent effort. And that effort has paid off. Just as I was admiring the work ethic of Devishwari Prashad. He's been rewarded with a wicket. Vandit Prajapati as well. A big wicket. And the Philadelphians with the celebrations. They know that's a big one. Vandit Prajapati, even though he was being restricted quite a bit. He can get going and turn things on in a flash. That threat has been diffused before it's even got going. Devishwari Prashad with the wicket. And a lovely ball that. First wicket down. Prajapati falls for 11. Philadelphians, they're happy as ever. 14 for 1. the dismissal straight through Prajapati Aslan Khan walks to the middle as I mentioned earlier the Canadian one of many that we've seen this year he walks in at number three a new addition to the Manhattan New Yorkers lineup to strengthen that top order. Now 
Aslan Khan. We'll pick up one straight away. Abdul Jabbar, the man called into action. Big pull and a miss here from Danish Patel. Short delivery there from Devishwari Prashad. We know Danish Patel is strong on that pull. Couldn't connect on that occasion. away from Danish Patel picks up a single good over from Devishwai Prashad the wicket of Prajapati and just three off it it's 16 for one what's up Doug what got into you <laughs> at Sunoco we know how to fuel peak performance fuel your best Sixteen on the board after five overs. Raj Nanan back into the attack. Starts off well to Danish Patel. Well, the dots here, quality bowler is Raj Nanan. He's shown it time and again across the country. Bold him. So another one goes down. Danish Patel, perhaps a bit deceived. Maybe not getting as much bounce as he thought it would. Nonetheless, the bales have been knocked off. Raj Nanan strikes. Another one falls. And the Manhattan Yorkers struggling here in this response to 111, to 117 rather. Danish Patel, they've lost another one. Both their openers gone. 16 for 2. And just straight through, going across the line. Danish Patel. You miss, I hit. Raj Nanan gets the breakthrough. Danish goes for 4. 16 for 2.
Hiran Patel walks to the middle. We saw the departure of Danish Patel. Cleaned up by Raj Nanan. Brings Hiran Patel out to the middle. Played up right to Devishwari Prashad. Yet again. So Raj Nanan has been really tidy here. 2.5 overs, 1 for 3. Has put on a bowling clinic here. Last ball of the power play, the Yorkers have only managed 16. Another great delivery. Appealing again is Rajdeep Darbar. Again, not convinced. This. But a wicket maiden over. Brilliant one from Raj Nanan. Six down, 16 for two. over from Raj Nanan couldn't have asked for much better the Philadelphians here the way they've started this innings already carrying that momentum with them that we saw from Jonathan Fu and they've transformed that they've transferred that to their fielding efforts as well Abdul Jabbar will come into the attack now, right at the conclusion of the power play. Going to Arslan Khan. Looking for the sweep is Arslan Khan. Straight through it goes to Rajdeep. Ooh, another delivery. That's gotten the batters going all around. Really gotten the ball to talk here. Have the spinners we saw even from the Manhattan Yorkers and now seeing it here from Raj Nanan and from Abdul Jabbar. Getting the appeal, just guiding it down is Arslan Khan. score so another good over here from Abdul Jabbar five dots on the truck and make that six so another maiden back-to-back -back maidens here from the Philadelphians it's another one goes another over in the books it's seven gone 16 for two Nanan will bowl out. Makes sense. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
one for three from 3.1 overs here, Raj Nanan would have bowled a wicket maiden. And I started off with a couple of dots here yet again to Hiren Patel. The back for a straight at Jonathan Fu. again another dot ball this has been brilliant bowling from the Philadelphians and there is another example beautiful delivery from Raj Nanan In the air from Hiran Patel. He'll get something there. He'll, it was going to break a hat trick of maidens from the Philadelphians and a double for Nanan. So a couple of runs to spoil what has been a really impressive spell from Raj Nanan. One for five from his four overs, the Yorkers, 18 for two. लक्ष्मी बासमती राइस को घर लाने का लक्ष्मी एक्स्ट्रा लॉन्ग बासमती राइस इसका हर दाना हो इतना लंबा पकते हुए महके और प्लेट में क्या खूब खिले हाँ तेरे घर लाने का Abdul Jabbar is back. And is that another wicket? Deveshwari Prashad has pulled off a really good catch, and Aslan Khan has to depart. A low catch from Deveshwari Prashad, but a safe field nonetheless. And Abdul Jabbar straight away into his second over. Has gotten the wicket of Arslan Khan. And the Manhattan Yorkers lose another one. Looking to go inside out. And yep, Devishwari Prashad. Safe hands. Another one down for the Yorkers. Aslan goes for one. The Yorkers 18 for three. Into the ninth over already. You see Ryan Scott. He's enjoying himself. So will everybody part of the Philadelphian support staff. They always bring out a good crowd and the crowd will be loving it. That's for sure. Seeing the Yorkers 18 for 3. Abdul Jabbar has gotten a wicket before he's given up a run. Hiran Shallow walks out at number 5. Sporting the St. Vincent and the Grenadines helmet. Abdul Jabbar. What a start to the second over for him. Shallow, we know he can hit the ball. Looks to go quite expansive, but straight to Jonathan Fu.
Oh, oh. Another peach of a ball here from Abdul Jabbar. Shallow defensive again. Unable to score. On the verge of yet another maiden here from Abdul Jabbar. A wicket maiden yet again as well. If he can hold down shallow for one more ball. Yes, he can. Leaves it alone. So a wicket maiden from Abdul Jabbar. That's back to back maidens for, for him. And it's 18 for 3, the Yorkers after 9. This was another look at the wicket. Outside edge in the end, and Devishwari Prashad. Really good pair of hands that to take a catch. So the youngster Aditya Sharma is introduced into the attack. Hustle through for a quick single there as Hiran Patel. Gets shallow back on strike, yet to get off the mark, has face five. That one really kicked off from Aditya Sharma. Down the ground from Hiran Shallow. Falls just in front of Garanshu Sharma. Looking for slug away on the leg side is Hiran Patel. Not there, no elevation. Another single brings Shallow back on strike. This was the shot from Hiran Shallow. Idea is right, but with Goranshu Sharma posted right out there on the fence, he's lucky. Just fell in front. Another good ball from Aditya Sharma. Up and over from Hiran Shallow. Wanoi Drysdale is out there on the fence. Four runs off the over from Aditya Sharma. It's 22 for three. The Manhattan Yorkers at the halfway stage. Took that last corner pretty quick. Sir, I need one hand on the roof, one hand on the pump. Time out for Sunoco Go Rewards. Keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save. Because rewards come first. Not much to look at in terms of runs if you are the Manhattan Yorkers. We saw a good innings from Jonathan Fuld right towards the end. Which really set the stage, you could say, for this bowling performance we've seen from the Philadelphians. Really gave them something to bowl at. Good positive vibes into the 
dug out as the innings, the first innings came to a close. Shallow cut away, but unable to find the gap. Looking to go big straight down the ground is higher and shallow. Again, looking to pull away. Looking to break the shackles here. The idea is right from higher and shallow. Asking rate is now officially exactly at 10 runs and over. Really struggling here, the Manhattan Yorkers. Looking to hit his way out of trouble higher and shallow. That's what he does best. Goes big. Tees off, does higher and shallow. And something for the M Manhattan Yorkers to cheer and to get off their seats about. A maximum off the bat of higher and shallow. You could see him, he was sizing up Abdul Jabbar, looking to go big. Did on that occasion. How does Jabbar respond? Responds with a good ball just outside off. Looking to cut again is higher and shallow. Has been able to really get nail that cut shot quite well. Again, playing a miss. So just the maximum came from that over. Take another look at it. Right off the pads, hammered away from higher and shallow. Big shot. One of the Yorkers really needed. And they'll bank on higher and shallow to really give them shots like that. 28 for 3 after 11. So Devishwari continues. Rolling to Hiran Patel. Can't get away is Hiran Patel. to wait. Nanan out there. Shallow back on strike on eight. Delivery from Devishwari Prashad, hustling there.
get a single in the end. It's going to be all about trying to get a partnership going. It's a partnership of 12 between Hiran and Hiran Shallow, but nowhere near going at the rate they're required to be. It's one problem after another for the Manhattan New Yorkers. It's been that way since the very start of the innings. Outside edge. And another single to Hiren. Playing a miss through, it goes to Rajdeep Daba. Yeah, the Philadelphians always bring out some big numbers. Swing and a miss again from higher and shallow. Prashad closes out the over very well. Three runs from it. It's 31 for 3. Lakshmi Basmati Rice is a good one. Lakshmi Extra Long Basmati Rice. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a In the air, Hiran Patel and taken. So Drysdale back, comes back into the attack, and Hiran Patel looking to take him on and pays the price. Shiran Shubatia comes up with a good catch, and Wanoi Drysdale into his third over and picks up a wicket straight away. Hiran Patel looking for the expansive shot, looking for the maximum reward. In the end, finds himself walking back to the dugout. Another one down for the Yorkers. Pitching up for his Drysdale. Looking for that big shot in the end. Picking out Chiran Shubatia. Lofted drive from here in Patel. Good catch. So Kangura walks out. He joins Hiran Shallow. The departure of Hiran Patel caught by Chirubatia. Play down shallow was in a bit of trouble. Had that had that hit the stumps. Dot ball to Kangura.
keeping some with playing a Mrs. Kangura. Yeah, chance there. We have Hot Hire and Shallow in a bit of danger. So Kangura is off the mark with a single. Higher and shallow comes back onto strike. Struck a six. Has attempted to strike a few meaty blows, but hasn't been able to find the middle of the bat. Shallow, I guess this bit of an inside edge almost. Ryan Scott into play. Just one. Kangura back on strike. Final ball here for Drysdale. Almost at the conclusion of the 13th. The Manhattan Yorkers only at 33 for four. It's been a rather sorry scorecard. So another single looks like to close the over out. Three off it, it's 34 for four. Shad is back yet again. Starts with a dot to Kangura. This one will get through in the end. Hand things over to higher and shallow. And just guided down from higher and shallow.
Empire in shallow, unable to really get a move on here. Rashad has bowled quite well. It's been a good all-round bowling performance from the Philadelphians. Swing and a miss from higher and shallow. Concludes another over 37 for 4 after 14. Thirty-seven for four, eighty required from the last six. Kangura pulls out the sweep on that occasion. Birds flying about. So single to Kangura gets Hyron Shallow back onto strike. Smash down the ground from higher and shallow. Only a single. That one left alone, really, from Kangura was getting into position to pull, realizing the ball wasn't there, and ended up just leaving it to go past. Another good ball from Abdul Jabbar. Into his final over here. Two deliveries left. Walked away from Kangura. Only one. Again, looking to just muscle a few away here as Hiron Shallow doesn't connect. Three off the over, 15 done, it's 40 for four. Some really good economy rates there all around. 
worst economy rate is 4.3, which is saying a lot. From one eye, Drysdale, 3 for 13, and even those figures are very impressive as well. We've seen four maidens, two from Jabal, one from Drysdale, and one from Raj Nanan. Devishwari Prashad will be looking to perhaps add his name to that list. Starts off with a dot to Kangura. Swinging away again is Kangura doesn't connect. Again, another swing and a miss from Yash Kangura. At this point, you've got to say the Philadelphians have got the points all wrapped up. Just maybe for the Yorkers holding on for A, personal pride, and B, for net run rate. So, a wicket falls. Yash Kangura straight into the hands of Jonathan Fu. Devish Rai Prashad gets the gets a wicket, his second of the day. Kangura falls, easy catch for the captain. And the Yorkers 40 for 5. That Kangura, simple as you like. For the captain of the Philadelphians, Jonathan Fu. Manoj Acharya out in the middle. Two balls left for Prashad. Gets the edge away. Does Acharya does very well there. Aditya Sharma off the mark right away is Acharya. Sixteen done, forty two for five. Another quiet over, just two off it. What's up, Doug? What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best.
Drysdale. Back single to higher and shallow. Brings Manoj Acharya back on strike. Swing and a miss from Acharya. Not collected cleanly by Rajdeep. They'll get a bye. it down from higher and shallow just a single Just four off the sofa from one eye Drysdale. And <laughs> well, what has happened there? Obviously, a no ball. Something gone horribly wrong there for Drysdale. And it gives Manoj Acharya a free hit opportunity. Can he at least whack one out of the ground to get at least some sort of redemption going here for the Manhattan Yorkers? Because it looks unlikely as though they'll win from here. No, he can't. Good delivery from Drysdale. Through it goes to Rajdeep Daba behind the stumps. Charia in the air lands safely and it's a good hit from Mano Jacharya all the way for six in fact so a good end to the over 54 for five after 17 the Manhattan Yorkers Lovely shot from Manajacharya straight down the ground. Low full toss from Drysdale. That's what they needed. Bad news is they needed them a long time ago. 21 and over required. 63 from 3. Aditya Sharma. Back into the attack. Dragged down, shallow, pulled away. But Devishwari Prashad, well posted. Just one. A 
Acharya goes again. He's pumped that one. He's pumped it a long way for six. So Manoj Acharya has struck a few. Where was he this whole time? Not a great delivery from Aditya Sharma. Too short on that occasion. Right in the hitting arc for Manoj Acharya. And again, same ball, same shot. And the same result. Would you believe it? A carbon copy of the previous delivery. Manoj Acharya has started to give a bit of life into this innings. Most likely at this stage all in a losing cause, but has at least given something for the Manhattan Yorkers to look back on and maybe perhaps a promotion of the order in the next game. Better delivery from Acharya. A little bit more fuller. Down the ground, Garanshu Sharma is there. Single. And we've seen Hiron Shallow attempt a few big hits. Does, do those two sixes from Acharya probably get him to find his timing? Helmet back on for higher and shallow. And, well, the answer to my question is a big no. It hasn't helped him find his timing. In fact, it's led to him being dismissed. Stepping down the track is higher and shallow. Looking to at least add a bit of consolation. And in the end, a wicket for Aditya Sharma. Clean bold is shallow. Falls for 17. Sharma strikes and it's 68 for 6. That warm is nowhere near the Philadelphians at this point, and there's too little time for them to really realistically catch up. Although Manoj Acharya has seen the rate go up just a little bit. Anirudh Emmanuel to ball the penultimate over. Deep Joshi, new man in. Missed out there, Manoj Acharya. Got away with that one that Anirudh Emmanuel wasn't the best of deliveries. In the air. And another big shot from Manoj Acharya. And he has really started to light things up here. 
just that it's come too late in the game. They needed some hits like these throughout the innings a little bit earlier. Manoj Acharya, another good shot. Swing and a miss, looking to go again. Every ball will seemingly need to go for six from here, so Manoj Acharya, the objective is clear. Drag down in the air. And six more again. So Manoj Acharya has not quite given up the fight as yet. Realizing that six sixes or seven sixes is going to be required, Manoj Acharya will saying to himself, I can try and hit as much as I can. And we'll keep the strike. We'll get a single as we take a look at the last six from Manojacharya. Huge hit. So a single to close out the over. And Manoj Acharya will need to hit six more of those. 36 to win from the final over. Chirubatia. Acharya needs six sixes. And as a neutral, what are the odds? Can he whack a few here? Manoj Acharya. Goes in the air. Hasn't got hold of this one, I don't think. No, he hasn't, so... Straight into the hands of Raj Nanan and Chirubati right away has put to bed any lingering hope, no matter how unlikely it was for the Manhattan Yorkers. Acharya's entertaining knock comes crashing down right into the hands of Raj Nanan. Acharya falls for 34. The Yorkers 81 for 7. So Preet Shah walks to the middle with quite an impossible task ahead. Chiru has bowled one ball, has got a wicket. Can't ask for much better than that.
that one is really short there. Called a wide too short from Chiranshu. Single to preach shot. Three balls left to, to go. And a miss from Joshi. Another wide here from Chirubati up. 33 to win from two balls. Just another single to Joshi. And another wide here from Chirubatia. Just gotta try and close it out, doesn't matter at this stage. 31 from just the final ball. And we'll land in front of Drysdale, and that will be that. So, a comfortable win in the end for the Philadelphians. They go two from two after getting the win on week one right at this venue, sharing points with the Somerset Cavaliers. They have come back after a week's rest back to the Mercer County Park. And they have won quite emphatically here over the Manhattan Yorkers. An easy win by 29 runs in the end. Was sent in, posted 116. And that scorecard just tells you the rest. A tremendous bowling display. Only bit of resistance from Manoj Acharya with 34. Hiran Shallow with 17. Highlights package will feature a lot of the Philadelphians bowlers rather than the Yorkers batters. One eyed Drysdale did not miss a beat in that first over. Started off straight away with a maiden. This was into the third over. Vandit Prajapati played a couple of good shots. In this over, that was the first one, and this one probably even better, even cleaner. Back to back boundaries from Prajapati, but didn't last too long. Devishwari Prashad, left hander getting the wicket. Nanan was exceptional, 
clean bowling Danish Patel. Conditions really suited him as well as Abdul Jabbar. This was a good catch. Getting down low, Devish Roy Prashad completing the catch to dismiss the Canadian Aslan Khan. Shallow. Played a few played a few shots. That was really the only one he was able to connect. Here in Patel. It was not a bad partnership between these two, but they needed to get the runs flowing. Wasn't able to do so. Picked out Chirubatia. A really good running catch from him. And then Yash Kangura. Soft dismissal into the hands of Jonathan Fu. Was the fifth wicket down. Devish Rai Prashad. Getting into the wickets for the second time today. Manoj Acharya. Here we go. The first of what would later become a flurry of sixes from Manoj Acharya. This was a big over. Went after Aditya Sharma. It was a couple too short. Bowling to Manoj Acharya. And it's not the same shot. Same, same type of delivery. Same shot, same area, back to back from Manoj Acharya. That couldn't translate to higher and shallow though, down the track, and another wicket fell. But Manoj Acharya continued on in the in the 19th over. Anirud Emmanuel not spared on that occasion, and once again another drag down, put to bed from Manoj Acharya. Six sixes to win. And that one could, didn't have the legs to go all the way. Easy catch for Raj Nanan. And that was pretty much game, set, match for the Philadelphians. Look at the points table. The Atlantic Conference, the Eastern Division. The Philadelphians skyrocket up to first place with two wins and a split game. Right ahead of the New Jersey Stallions who have played one extra game. On four, the Cavaliers on three, and then the Eagles, Titans, and Yorkers tied on two. So the action wraps up here then at the Mercer County ground. It's only Friday, so we've still got a full weekend ahead of us here at this venue. And the Philadelphians will be the ones heading into the weekend with the most momentum. They cap off a 29-run victory over the Manhattan Yorkers who after that debut win after that opening win against the Stallions have found themselves in some bit of difficulty regaining some of that momentum but on behalf of all of our broadcasters I am Matthew Achaiba signing off with a Philadelphians win over the Manhattan Yorkers from Mercer County goodbye, good night, and do join us here again tomorrow and throughout the rest of the weekend you're watching the Sunoco Minor League Cricket Championship, brought to you by our 2023 partners.